Welcome back to NachekuTricks.com. This is Ken Hill. It's good to see you all. Well, digitally, I suppose. Um, so, I hope everyone's been working on their figure eight wrist rolls and getting everything down. Uh, I just got back from a really awesome trip in Nashville, so um, I'm just trying to cram this. It's like, well, I'm looking here like I have a watch. <laughs> it's like, it's like Wednesday, which is the day that I'm supposed to be releasing this, and this is actually the first moment I've had to really like record. So it's it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be awesome though. We have uh, quite a few uh, interesting style. I want to get you into uh, hyper style. At least show you the basics of it. So I want to just get right into this because we gotta get this thing going. Um, there's only a couple hours before eight o'clock, and I want to be sure that I keep it on time. So what I uh, I call something hyper style, and that's just a name that I've given for a very staccato or a very fast based movement. The nice thing about hyper is what you're doing is you're basically taking the nunchucks and redirecting it. In like a fast motion. Uh, Hyperstyle, when you really get into hyperstyle, the wonderful thing about it is that it feels like you're playing a drum. Like one, two, three, four. You can almost you can almost hear that rhythm when you're playing it. So let's get into your first hyper movement, okay? We're going to take our right hand, we're going to hold it in a front grip, like so. And we're going to spin it about waist level or so. We're going to go counterclockwise, like this. Our left hand is going to hold the palm up, and we're going to try to receive it, like this. We're going to do it again. Now you see where I'm actually grabbing it? It's right here. I can also grab it more in the center, but don't grab it out here because the farther you out you go with the nunchuck, the more damage it's going to do. I mean, think about it too. If you think about the rotation, like if you're catching it right here, it's only spinning about this far. But if you're catching it out here, it's spinning this far. So it has more, more momentum and more, more space to actually hit your hand and really do some damage, especially if you're using heavy nunchucks or fire nunchucks. Um, so what I want you to do, spin it counterclockwise and just like let it land on your hand like this. If you're using heavy chucks, what I also want you to practice, or fire nunchucks, what I want you to practice is, as soon as your hand is about 12 o'clock, I want you to give it a little bit of a lift and then a downward. So lift and down. Watch my right hand. Lift, down. Lift, down. The reason why we're doing that is to pad it. We want to kind of release, so it's not, like if we're spinning here, all the momentum's to the outside, but if we give it that little lift and downward pull, do you see how it like releases all that pressure that would hit us in the hand? Like that? That means we can take an extremely heavy chuck, spin it really fast, and then on that last one we can redirect it without really doing any like harm to our hand at all. If you're just going like this, and you hit your hand, <laughs> that could really hurt, especially after about three or four of those, let me tell you. Um, and with hyper, of course, we're going to be doing a whole ton of redirects. So, you know all the rules now. You know that you should hit here and here, never hit out here. And when you hit it, we're going to redirect it like this. So, try it again, counterclockwise. This is about 9 o'clock. We're going to hit it in our hands like so. I usually use my fingers. You can also drop it in your palms. It's, either is fine. And then we're going to push it up the opposite direction like that. Now let's go in the opposite direction, of course, we're going to do the same thing at 9 o'clock, where our hand's going to come up and slap it back, like that. Once it's going down, we're going to slap it up, and slap it down. Up, down. And then switch your hands, of course, too. Up, down, up, down. So, both directions, both sides. You can either do a couple rotations, you can do random rotations where you just do it when you feel like it. You can do one, but just get this feeling down right now. If your hand starts to hurt, pat it like this. Pat. See how I'm just like floating it a little bit? My hand kind of softens it every time by actually following a little bit of the rotation. What I mean by patting, by the way, you, you probably saw me do it the whole time, but what I mean by patting is my right hand actually kind of moves a little bit with the turn, and that causes a lot of, of a lot of that sharp spin to like dissipate. So when it lands in your hand, it doesn't absorb it. All right, let's just do it like uh, one bounce a piece now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now. 
You know what I say about movement, right? This is boring. Ugh. Okay, you gotta put some, you gotta put some energy into it. Even if you just use these two, start moving your hand around now and seeing if you can bounce it in different spots. Bend your knees. Stand up. You know. See if you can turn with it. Remember the the uh, figure eight wrist drills, or I'm sorry. Remember the figure eights. As we're going this direction, we just kind of do a figure eight, or at least the slash of it to come over. So, slash, and we're back. Slash, and we're back. All right, our four hit combo, we got two of the moves now. So here's, here we're gonna do it again. One, two, the third one hits back up again. The fourth one I call a tricep bounce. Um, you're gonna hold out your arm like this, okay? Think of it like, like uh, you're using the back end of a table and it's going to bounce right under here. It's going to hit this soft spot. Do not hit your elbow or you're going to hurt yourself. Because <laughs> this is all bone and this is, well, it's not all bone. <laughs> it's kind of soft. Soft and squishy, just the way we like it. So it's going to go one, two, three. Be sure if you need to, to pad it. See how it kind of just like glides there like that? I'm not going like this. I mean, you can if you want to, but you can only do so many of them, and uh, my whole goal is to do a whole lot of hyper when I'm doing this. So now we'll go one, two, three. First start with a pad, like that. One, two, three, and just kind of pad it really softly. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. <clears throat> this is cool too, and practice this for a while. Oops. Yeah, I'm way over here, right? Drop. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. What makes it more interesting, though, is, is your body gets into it. So we'll go one, two, three, drop. Okay? And this time, the drop, what we're going to do is our elbow's going to follow through, and we're, it's almost like we're going to slash right through the nunchuck. Huge difference, right? Such a small boom. Or you can go one, two, three, drop, clutch. See? One, two, three, drop, clutch. Boom, boom. You just add a few extra, this will stop, you know, just that stop will give you a breather and them a breather. One, two, three, drop, clutch. So I want you to practice with that. Practice with just hitting it twice and redirecting it. And practice adding that extra elbow. And then I'm going to show you one more bounce pattern, okay? So practice it with both hands, of course. One, oops. <laughs> one, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. So you can do both sides. When do you do this? Remember, we're doing figure eight wrist rolls. I just wanted to make sure you get this right. Shoom, shoom. We're doing all different kinds of figure eight wrist rolls. As soon as we're facing forward, where we would just normally do rips, now we can also add this. The next uh, pattern I want to show you is a basic, uh, I call it like a tabletop bounce. Essentially what happens is your elbows go forward like the legs of a table. And you have four points that you're going to bounce the chuck against. One is up here, it's kind of bouncing right off here. The second of course is the other side. Third is underneath. And the fourth is underneath on the opposite side. So we're going to take our right hand to begin with. And we're going to be spinning it, of course, counterclockwise. We're going to bounce it like this. Do you see where it, how it lands? It's right there. So this part hits the tricep. This will definitely not hurt. This right here will definitely hurt. So make sure you have your spacing just right and hit it right about there. One. Okay. One. Sometimes people don't have their elbow out all the way, and it looks like this. Not very good. You want to you want to face it like if you want to face it towards the camera like that. Boom. The second one, if you want to practice this move, you can even take your left arm and flip it up, and you're gonna hit it right on the outside of this. It almost looks like this move here. See, remember that one where we're hitting it back here like so. It's the same thing with this direction. Our left hand flings it over to the right like that, and it's almost like that same catch. See, boom, boom. Yes, you can go back and forth with that combo. But that's not the combo that we're doing right now. <laughs> but do know that it exists. Okay, so one, two. Now this may seem a little bit awkward at first, but three is under here. This is probably the one that gets people the most. 
If you're thinking, if I'm looking at the camera right now, my elbow is pointing at it. See that right there? Three is right here, and it's going to bounce kind of underneath the tricep, bicep area. It's kind of on the side. Three is here, and then four, our body's going to turn, and it's going to hit under here. So I'll do it in slow motion. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now we go boom, 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 boom. Try that combo. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, now, I want you to play with that a lot. Because you don't, like, with when working with combos, you don't have to go up, down, up, elbow. You can go up, elbow, up, elbow, up, down, up, elbow. Um, you don't have to follow these patterns exactly. You don't have to go one, two, three, four. Maybe you want to go backwards. You totally can. You can go backwards, forwards, just know that there's four points. And figure out how you can get to these points in various ways. You may be surprised. Maybe you want to go here. Boom, 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 boom. All I want you to do is just play with these points and not hurt yourself. <laughs> so by not hurting yourself, you keep this chain really close by your, by your chest and you're bouncing it back and forth. There's so much more to cover with hyper. But let's just work on those right now. So you have two different combos, and then I want you to take those points and to play with it. So you're not just doing the same combo each time. Look, you can rip it. Now we're in underhand grip. Rip. I mean, this is like play. I'm just playing right now. I'm. I don't even like. I'm just kind of making this up. You can't. I never really tried ripping it, but I'm sure you. It's not too hard to rip. And then you can just change your your hands.